The public health districts, they need to be able to identify and contact people who have been potentially exposed, something they refer to as contact tracing. And every time there is a new case, health investigators want to know how did that person get infected and who might they have, a, have come in contact with after they were exposed. They don't just wonder, though. They work to find out. And Joe Paris spoke with Central District Health about contact tracing, how it works, and why it is better so important to, to do. Up. It's better to look upstream and see where possible contacts and possible sources of illness are occurring and help prevent those sources from infecting other people. Brandon Atkins and his colleagues at Central District Health continue to research what the spread of coronavirus looks like in Idaho. A big tool they use is contact tracing. Uh, in COVID-19, contact tracing is specifically related to individuals who may have come in contact with a known case of COVID-19. As confirmed cases are reported to each health district, investigators reach out to those people to learn more. You'd want to know exactly who had been in proximity, for what time frame that person had been in proximity with that individual, where they may have been while they were in that that facility and every source of possible contamination that may have been exposed for a period of time to that individual. And what are some of the reasons that is so helpful? It helps us keep a better eye on highest risk populations. The important aspect of it is that we have to have an idea of where individuals who have had COVID-19 have been in order to get a better representation of what it's doing within a community. And how useful is that information to epidemiologists? Does this give them kind of like a bigger picture of what's going on out there? Absolutely. So one of the things that's most particularly helpful in seeing is what that infection rate is. So it's very helpful because it helps us see a little bit about disease projection and progression, but it also helps us understand how we can most readily battle that and try and work upstream. Through proactive contact tracing, experts have learned just how contagious coronavirus is. Tracking exponential growth better details the situation. If we were to just wait for someone to test positive or to have signs or symptoms, we'd always be behind the ball. We're well into this pandemic now in terms of response and what's going on with the social distancing. What does the, the contact tracing look like at this point? The measures that have been done across the board in Idaho, for example, that we have helped slow that progression of the disease within our communities. We do anticipate that as things start opening back up, that we will see a rise in those cases. And what we are going to do in effect is make sure that we are ramped up and ready to go for that next spike. OK, so Joe, our total today is about 1800. I, mean, I haven't seen the latest numbers come in. They usually come in right around five o'clock. But the point is there are about 2000 people who have tested or a little less than 2000 people who have tested positive for COVID-19 in the state of Idaho. Our investigators calling everyone who tests positive to ask them who they've come in contact with. Well, Brian, in each health district, it may be a little bit different, but the overall goal is to get in touch with as many people as possible that are a confirmed case. That way they can really get more data. Talking with Brandon Atkins from Central District Health earlier, they say more data, the better. The truth is, though, Brian, as you outlined at this point, there's a little less than 2000 people that have confirmed cases, and that takes time to call every single person. It's actually interesting to note Central District Health are actually hiring right now. They're hiring to actually have more people on their contact tracing team and we're going to have a link on our website brian ktvb.com if people are interested in looking at what that job description is or even applying okay so basically it's kind of like the department of labor where nobody saw this coming so they didn't have the staff on hand to kind of handle all of this extra work that has come along with this COVID 19 crisis all right thanks joe we'll see how that's how this plays out